In a world that seems to be dominated by truly wireless buds, active noise cancellation, and wireless charging, one might think it's crazy to buy wired buds. But as soon as you put the Shure Aeonic 3s in your ear, all those thoughts go right out the window. What's up everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Shure Aeonic 3 earphones. Now the Aeonic 3s are a single vented balanced armature driver earphone that allows you to hear the music the way it's meant to be heard. And the Aeonic 3s come with Shure's sound isolating technology that blocks up to 37 decibels of noise to help you with any distractions you may have. And like I mentioned in the Aeonic 4s review, Perhaps those are children, dogs, and spouses. Honestly, the way that the music sounded out of these, while not as preferred for me as the Aeonic 4s, were incredible. I listened to John Mayer's new Sob Rock album twice while wearing these and enjoyed every single 80s laden guitar track and then followed that up with some Easy Lover by Philip Bailey and Phil Collins and was able to pick up the different tones, especially with the snare drum sounding extra crispy. By the way, all of the music that I'm going to be talking about in this video came out of my mobile phone, so it's all of the amazingness happened to be out of either a Pixel or an iPhone, so yeah, no fancy audio equipment here. Very much available to the masses. The sound, regardless of the genre, pretty much nailed nearly everything perfectly with these Aeonic 3s. From modern pop, 90s hip-hop, Hamilton's vocals, and Ben Fold's piano keys, the threes nailed every single one of them. They created space, and I talked about this before in my other videos, and talked about it on Twitter as well, is the fact that these mastering tracks from either Apple or Tidal, they create all sorts of space, and the Aeonic threes created that space, which made it sound just incredible. They didn't jumble or have any different tones or step on each other, and the vocals were on top of all of those songs, didn't feel messy at all. From a sound perspective, it was absolutely incredible. And the best way I can describe the experience is, if I need to make a phone call, I can use these headphones for a conference call because they are wired, and more on that in a minute, and they worked great. And then if I wanted good audio in between conference calls to listen to music, they worked perfectly as well. It is literally perfect for every opportunity. Now they sound great, but how do they fit? Much like their siblings, the Aeonic 4s, the Aeonic 3s are some of the most comfortable earphones I've worn in a really freaking long time. They have this low profile design and are shaped perfectly to go right into my ear the way that they are. And much like the 4s, I have the foam tips in the 3s as well, so I can get a perfect fit pretty much every single time, even with my glasses on. And I can wear these for hours, but pro tip with the threes, make sure you put them in your ears first, wrap them around your ears, and then put your glasses on. They're a little more cumbersome, and I'm not talking about a lot, maybe like a second or two more when you have glasses. So put them on first and then put your glasses on. And again, much like the fours, the cool thing is about these wires, they are fully detachable. So you have the power of choice again. If you go get that secure fit wireless adapter like in my previous video I talked about, you can go fully wireless. Now, again, I didn't do that because I wanted the mastering lossless music from Apple and Tidal respectively and I needed the wires to do that. Plus it's a communication cable, so when I was taking conference calls and things like that, I needed to have the cable. Now if you're wondering what the sound sounds like when you're taking phone calls, what the microphone sounds like, here is an example of what the microphone sounds like. This is me in a car actually at uh, getting ready to do an oil change, ironically enough. This is the Aeonic 3s that I'm just holding up the microphone right here, so everything that you see and hear uh, is shot through uh, an iPhone 12 Pro plugged directly in using a lightning adapter. And this is what you could expect from a microphone uh, perspective when you're on a conference call. But if you're like me, you don't tend to hold the microphone out like it, you just let it hang for right there. So this is everything that you could expect um, moving around. This is the sound that you could expect uh, when you're using the microphone on the Aeonic Please. The calls for me were nice, crisp, and clear and I was able to enjoy the benefits of good music in between both my business and personal calls. Like I mentioned before, they were outstanding for bouncing between professional business calls and then hardcore rock or wildly inappropriate rap, uh, if I listen to that. So that's all the good stuff, but what about all the bad stuff? 
for me, the biggest thing that I didn't like, and I thought that the Shures got right in the Aonic 4s, is the over-the-ear loop system that they have. I didn't find the 3s nearly as nice as the 4s in terms of getting them where I wanted. I fidgeted with them a little bit more than I wish that I did. But once I got them settled, they were pretty good. It's just a different angle. They stick out a little bit further uh, than the 4s do. The 4s fit directly in the ear, and these kind of stick out a little bit further. Um, so it was just a little bit something different to get used to. Another thing that I didn't like is the ability to go full wireless. Again, like the 4s, to go fully wireless, you got to spend another 140 bucks in order to get fully wireless. So at that point, you'd have about 350 bucks wrapped up into these budge, which seems a bit much. But if you care about audio quality, 350 bucks is an absolute steal, especially when you start to compare them to the prices of other in-ear monitors or things of their nature. Yeah, these are these are definitely on the cheaper end in terms of those, because some of those in-ear monitors are thousands of dollars. Last thing that I didn't really like, and it's just the same exactly as the Force video that I have, was the fact that the cord is just a little bit shorter than I would have liked to have had. Small annoyance, but I can get over it nonetheless. All of the negatives I can get past because the sound, again, is just that good. Once you get the perfect fit, you can wear them for hours on end and not have to worry. Big thanks to Shure for sending over the threes and fours for me to test out and bring a review to all of you. So, well, that's it. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. And as always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up. Leave a comment below. We'll see you next time. <laughs>